this, by the way, the tabletop. It's the tabletop version of this one, Mario's Cement Factory. And Nintendo did not make a tabletop for every game and watch, sorry, every game and watch that there is. And I'll tell you something about this shit. You know, I always go to garage sales and stuff like that because that's where you find the most interesting stuff. And on the last one, no, on a few back, there was one right outside my door, and my father went out quickly to look, take a look around. He had to go to the post office or something weird like that. And when he came back, he said to me, "You know, you have to come." They had this. This thing, I don't even have. I don't even have the battery. Yeah thing cover and this thing even without the battery cover is worth over a hundred bucks I paid two bucks for this the mother said yeah my son likes to play more on his DS now you can buy a DS with this thing but yeah this is a recollected item I still haven't been able to test because that thing Need some huge freaking batteries, and I still haven't bought those. Yeah, my nephew used to have a tabletop. He had the Donkey Kong one, and I always wanted to have it. I never got it. I think at some point they didn't have it anymore, and that bummed me out. But yeah, now I got one of my own. I could have ranked Pokemon and the Game Boy favorites without a problem but it started becoming an interesting after I think it was gold or something when they made new Pokemons and they started taking the old ones out I mean that took away a lot in the game from because the the concept of the game is amazing too look everywhere for you know pokemon has this incredible sense of freedom in it that's why i loved it you know to roam around in the world to search the creatures you wanted to grow them to make them evolve to teach them whatever you wanted them to know and to use them to fight other ones i love the game i probably still do but i don't have the pearl or diamond version yet i have to import it because I, there is no way in hell I'm gonna play it in French because they fuck up all the names but yeah in general it made me lose interest I don't even have set my favorite DS game I suck so much the I don't have a lot no you have to excuse me for this I own like four DS games I didn't start buying them I want to buy the Final Fantasy 4 because after Final Fantasy X, Final Fantasy IV is like my favorite. But yeah, I would have to say, Lunar. The biggest deception in this game is the fact that there is not a lot of variety in the attacks. But this game ranked first from the other games I have is Mario Kart memory code and I imported a Naruto and this one ranks first because it's so fucking huge this is probably one of the hugest games I have ever seen and that's why I haven't played it in such a long time because how can you make a game so huge and make the attack so annoying I don't know maybe I've been playing it, I think like 60 hours already, and I haven't even defeated one of the main goals in the game yet. I mean, this game seriously is huge. And that is also its greatest flaw. But yeah, that's enough for the DS, because I don't have a lot of DS games yet. If I've had to pick only one console, and I didn't took and got my favorite game, so I would rule out button characters and, and stuff. I'm saying shit, I curse a lot. But I would pay, pick the NES, the Nintendo Entertainment System, the first, the 8 bit one, because the music is so simple and 
I just lot my TV is huge. Well, it's huge. I don't have this flat screen thing, but I paid a lot of money for my TV. It's a hundred hertz. I don't even know if I can say that in English. But yeah, to see the pixels move and it's so simple and so fluffy and the games are way more difficult. The games on the Nintendo and Nintendo system are the most difficult. These days you get all these high quality graphics and cinematic cinematical shit and the actors and the voiceovers and the beautiful orchestrated music. But the games are way too easy. At first Mario is more difficult than most of the games you get in these days. I mean you have for example for if I take Mario an account, you have Mario Galaxy, which is beautiful and that's fun to play, but it's not a game. You walk through it like that. It's way too easy and it took me years before I I started playing since I was like four years old. No shit. Uh, they put me always next to my brothers to calm me down in front of the video games, and the moment I started playing myself. The moment I held a controller, I never let it go anymore, and I'm still holding that same controller today. And the first Mario is... It was so hard, it took me years to finish that game. These days, this day and age, you just walk through a game, you know, it's, oh, it's beautiful, it's nice, music is cool, that's it. You know, down entertainment system. You have lives, you have continues. You advance so far in the game and then you die and you have to start all over again. That's what made the game fun. That's what made you play it again and again. These Today you have to have a game. You have to all have all these extras, all these bonuses. You play a game, you can finish a game, you play it again with bonus items and whatever. That's not what it used to be about. So that's why I would pick the Nintendo Entertainment System above all. Besides the retroness of it all. I'm a retro guy. I mean, that's why I would pick it, but it's been with me for years. And when I look at the games I have on it, I look at the games from now for on the Wii, for example, or any other console, it's, it's just walking through it. And each and every game I picked in my top five, in my top five, that's bullshit. And my favorite games. Each and every one of them is extremely difficult. Except Zelda, I would say, but Zelda has never been about the difficultness. Okay. Zelda has been about finding out where to go first, I guess. Why is they sort of took out of it? Because the first Zelda, I mean, you had no idea what you were doing. If you didn't even find the first door, you didn't even have a sword. Nobody told you where the sword was, and then you have to find the first castle, and you find a castle, and it's not that one, it's not the right one. Nobody tells you where to go, and they sort of took that out of it, but the amount of freedom you get from Zelda is amazing. But, yeah, I was talking about the difficultness, I mean, God and God was at least had that for himself. Because if they would have made it as easy as the other games, it's still ranked first. Thanks to the story and music. I'm a little bit rambling. This is about nothing anymore, but... Okay, that's finally the end. This video is a little bit about everything, but yeah, this was the last of the shit that I shot. And I want to make videos about playing the NES, but I haven't figured out how to record it directly from the TV. My laptop has really weird exits and shit because it's really new. But once I figure that out, then I'll probably post some of that stuff as well. Stereo. And keep playing with power.